So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys one of the theme song short So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, Martha here. We in saw Sonic 2. Um and what did I I probably won't tell like get the whole entire story about it. Most of it this I would say is earlier when I was watching some reviews about this movie. Which part of me kinda wish I probably wouldn't because it makes you change my opinion makes me make me makes me think their opinion but I understand some of their opinion now like some some of the parts where we should not have like us going back to the humans for all the time but I like the humans from the other movie um don't burn their names now which is Weird that I say I like them, and yet yeah, I can't remember their names. <laughs> um, but I do remember the name that Sonic gave um, him was Donut Lord <laughs> um, and his wife. But I don't know, the people I went with, I think they found it funny. Especially when they played the very Kuda song. Um, but... It's hard, I guess, companies find it hard to make video, make movies about video game characters slash cartoon characters without having to bring humans in. We've seen it like at least three times. I've seen it. Well, more times than that, actually. Um, but last time they did, I think they did, they did so well. But this time, I don't think they did it very well. I think only one they should only ones they should probably keep around is um the Donut Lord and his wife. And I don't really count Robotnik in that, even though he is <coughs> or, or played by a real person. He's not computer animated. Um he and he's part of the game. You have to have you can't have Sonic without Robotnik. So, but I mean, like, ones that were not, were not originally part of the game or part of any TV series. So, there's that. That's, like, parts I like. Those are one part I really didn't like, really. Like, do I really care the stupid agent from the, F the um, um, CIA liked? Um, the wife's sister. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. So, anyway. Look at the stuff I do like. So, Sonic's supposed to have the house to himself. Take care of the house. And he's acting like a teenager. Um, basically an irresponsible kid slash adult. And... As he goes and saves, um, stops a robbery, but ends up, um, making, ends up hurting a whole entire block, basically, because he makes, um, a bomb go off in the sewer, and he did damaging, so he doesn't do a great job saving, stopping a robbery, even though he stopped it, he just did a bad job at it. So, and the Donut Lord told him, not told him you can't keep on doing this. I guess that's not the first time him doing it. 
and the way he found out by going up there because he tried to make it look like he was still up there reading comics or something like that but he just made a bad puppet of himself and it did not do well and I had stupid fart jokes um so we find but this actually opens on um Robotnik showing how he gets off the um, um mushroom planet, which I'm still gonna call. I'm still gonna say this is basically Mario's planet, even though we don't see Mario there. But there is mushrooms. Okay. Anyway, um, they Sonic ends up having like take care of the house, and the way that um, Robotnik gets out the off the planet is pretty hilarious. Like, we see him make coffee with mushrooms. That sounds disgusting. I don't like instant coffee anyway, but that sounds disgusting. I like iced coffee. I'm, I'm a real, real I'm, I'm weird. <laughs> so, imagine it me made of mushrooms. Ugh. Um. Anyway, he ends up like using the Sonic's quill to get off it by um, electrocuting with, I guess, wires he found on the planet, or maybe he brought it with him. Because his, didn't his whole entire ship go through with them on it? So maybe he used that to get um, get off to get um, people from Sonic's world attention. Like the ones who came with um, Knuckles on there. There were people dressed up as something. I'm not sure if there actually were pe meant to be people. But. And. I like Knuckles. He, I don't know if he. I never really watched the show with him on it. Because um, the two shows I've watched of Sonic. Never showed him. I don't know if they were. It's before they created him or what. But they just never bothered showing him. So I don't know if this is what Sonic. If this is what Knuckles. Acts like. But in this show, he acts in this movie. He acted like tough. Um, inch, I think Enter Elba. He um, played him really well. He um, every time he like shakes body, or anybody's hand, he ends up crushing it. <laughs> Even Sonic. <laughs> I think he like, they do that joke like three or four times. They do they do it like with first they do it with Robotnik, then the, the guy that. Um, who I swear they're making him making this a gay couple. I swear they're making the fact that how much he loves Robotnik is like he's totally gay for Robotnik, which I guess that's fine. Um, my mom did not say anything. Uh, the person, I, the ones I went with, did not say anything. Like I'm surprised though. It's hard to sometimes she's not always she can't always tell us because she's a you know. Anyway, uh, he does it to Sonic, and I think the reason why Sonic's he's so easy to beat, he's able to beat Sonic so well, because he's trained. Sonic is just trying to have fun. He's just he knows how to run really fast, but I guess nobody's ever trained him, and I guess he was just mostly just um, he, I guess he wasn't on his home planet that very long. And we end up seeing in like um, the the end credit scene again, where Tails ends up on um, Earth again. And I do like the fact even that they got the same actress who plays him in the games, or maybe TV shows too. Like I like I have not seen any recent ones of Sonic. Only seen the ones that were in the nineties. Um. And so I don't know, and I never really played any of the games anyway. Um, and maybe he does make tails. Maybe makes all these equipments in the game. Um, but this, and I like the the little bit of relationship that Sonic and Tails have discovered. It's not as strong as it was in that um, the one. One that a lot of people say they don't like because it's too wild. 
from the 90s. But I always did like the relationship in that one. And that's a little bit here because he acts like a little bit like a big brother here. Like trying to comfort Tails and says, I will look after you. I will protect you. And when he doesn't, and when Tails doesn't get knocked out by that by the avalanche, he's so mad at himself for it. <laughs> Um, and the whole her bit with, um, when they're in the, the bar, we have another bar scene here, because <laughs> they had a Frank back a bar scene from the last movie, <laughs> I don't know, I, I think I like the well from the last movie better, um, but they really didn't really do in, like, any part where we show how fast, kind of maybe a little bit with the robots, but not as much as they did last movie, where he, um, made it look like he was the only one moving in the bar scene and do a little bit quitsilver thing. But here they just mostly showed off um, saw, um, Tails making holograms of him and um, Sonic dancing, which foreshadows what he does later on to Robotic by trying to be a distraction to him. Um, so mostly robotics tricking um, Tails, ticket tricking um, Knuckles because he sees Knuckles easy to trick, and he he was because he's just all bronze. He's no, he's not much brain. Um, and he was able to get the the emerald, which I guess makes you get your bring up what you were saying and they do they pointed out that it is like the uh, marshmallow man see some parts um some of the when they make references to um movies some of them i liked some of them because i ref i noticed like uh, like i noticed most of them like i i don't think the kids knew all of them because i doubt kids watch Psycho, even though I watched it when I was a kid. <laughs> Poltergeist, lots of Poltergeist. Yeah, so I doubt the kids nowadays got that one. <laughs> um, I doubt they got the one for about Oprah either. Yes, they probably got the one for... Um, they made for Winter Soldier. But I think... I don't know, this is mostly the songs just trying to be funny. But sometimes... They maybe you know probably went a little bit too far. This time around, I don't think they did have any jokes about movies in the last one. So it's a really good movie. I think they made more reference to the video games than the last movie. Like I only know a little bit about the Emeralds, and I know that Sonic does go yellow like and it always reminds me of Dragon Ball Z I'm not sure which one came first because he turns yellow his, he, his hunter fur turns yellow just like um, when, when they come Super Saiyan the hunter, the hunter hair turns yellow so it's very similar and their their also change their eyes um, but we got to see the robots from the games and I guess the last bit we get to see Shadow. And I barely know who Shadow is. I barely do. I never watched that cartoon where he first showed up. I don't even know who the white... I don't even know the name the white um, hedgehog is. You can tell me in the comments. You can. Uh, educate me. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think Jim Carrey did a great job in this movie. He was really funny. For me, it's... Sometimes I don't like him. Sometimes I do. Depends on who he's playing. As long as it's not based off any books that I grew up with. Um, mostly it's not his fault. It's mostly the fact that that movie is bad to be in with. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think he did a great job here. He was pretty funny. Um, he was great in... And so was um, he was great with um, Knuckles, and 
I think all of them did a great job. All the ones that I named. Um, but now that I know the one who plays Sonic is also the guy who plays Dewey off of um, Tail DuckTales. All I can hear is Dewey sometimes. Because <laughs> he, he uses the same voice that he does... As Dewey with with Sonic, and sometimes that's all I can hear out of him. <laughs> so, and you know, since I review, since I have Donald review all those episodes all, all the time, I'm all, I only had like two left to review. I reviewed all of them, and I would know what Dewey sounds like. <laughs> so, I don't know. It was a great movie. It, it had some down parts of it that might make it look dated later on, but it's the more I believe if you put the more um, pop culture you put into a movie, more likely you're going to date the movie, and people are going to wonder what the heck are you talking about? Who's Winter Soldier? What's Poltergeist? Who's Oprah? <laughs> so, I mean, I know all those, but there's people who are ready who don't, who are watching the movie. <laughs> so there, there's that. So that's bad. So, anyway, um, I'm probably gonna give this movie a. 8 out of 10. Like, favorite, and subscribe. And bye bye.